Hey Gemini, welcome to your reading for September of love, relationships and your career. I'm going to pull all the cards out for you guys and then read them. If you're new, welcome and please remember to subscribe to get all of the different kinds of readings I post each month so you know you don't miss any hit the notification bell to my lovely loyal subscribers um, this one will be a bit longer because I want to give an overall a forecast here so if you guys are used to me doing the quick videos this one's a bit longer for the beginning of the month Okay, let's see what we have going on for Gemini. And of course, I'll leave information on what decks of cards I use uh, in the description box along with how to contact me for personal readings. So I usually pull the cards different, you guys know, but I um, just want to get these cards out for you and give you my best. Right, let's see what's going on here. Shall we start with your career, Gemini? Uh, Prince of Springs and Seven of Autumn. Okay. So, have patience and don't worry. Take time to rest and plan your next steps. A prudent investment of money and time. So, if we're going to, you know, I feel like here it's saying, look, if you're going to invest in something, understand that the day you plant the seeds is not the day you eat the fruit from the tree, right? But in order to get things moving, you have to take immediate action here with the Prince of Springs, okay? A challenge you can successfully manage, okay? A passionate relationship. Invest now and, um, you know, the fruits of your labor will thingy be rewarded but just not this second because that's not how it really works have patience look to um things with your career with an eye on the long term let's say um and you know i feel like in time you'll see that it was worth the time and effort you've put in just maybe right now during september you're not going to get the huge payouts just because you're investing right now okay um Let's look here at your love life, shall we? Glamour, intrigue and drama. Okay, are you about the drama? <laughs> are you about to pull off that mask and let them know, look, I'm not always an angel. Um, but I feel like, okay, there's some drama. If you're in a relationship, um, if you're coupled up here, I feel like... Um, you're going to be influenced to take a look at your relationship. You may head into separation with your partner this month. Maybe you break up for a little while, okay? Um, because we do have the reconciliation card. If you are already separated from somebody you consider your partner or soulmate, stay optimistic because somebody from your past is returning to your life in September. Um, I feel like Venus will make you do renovations all over your house and all over your love life you know um all those sorts of things it will be there'll be a lot of looking closely at things i guess um the planetary aspects will make improvements for your life here your home life your domestic life your mental uh, capabilities here because you're starting to get this clear foresight that Maybe if you're in a relationship and somebody's um, treating you wrong um, with the Prince of Springs over there, you might separate from them. If you've been waiting for somebody to reconcile um, for quite a long time, I feel like you will start to excel in your communications. You're going to reach out to them and be like, huh, what's going on with us? I'm, you know, I'm not going to wait much longer here. Um, you need to know what's going on. So it's like you want to talk to somebody or somebody wants to talk to you here. 
um, especially if you've been waiting for this communication, okay, about reconciling. You might, they might come forward to you and you might want to stay separated from the person who wants to reconcile with you. Because we see here as well the Ace of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. So this is somebody who you've been thinking about a lot. You've been thinking about this situation a lot. Um, should <laughs> Temperance too with the Three of Pentacles. So it's like... Do I really want to be the one who keeps putting in the effort to work things out and they're putting nothing in? Um, where you've been stuck mentally, we're going to now see clarity, okay? This is what's going to happen for you. So you want this new beginning. You want this fresh start with or without them. You're, you're done waiting. You may have been like um, maybe quite drained here, so feeling tired, because you've been overthinking about this situation, about, you know, taking somebody back or wanting a second chance with somebody, wanting to build with somebody here now. Now we see with this Ace of Pentacles, look, I'm going to need solid investments from this person because it, I see now that it's draining me. So it's like you've learned your lesson here. If they're not putting into me, I need to stop letting them sap my energy, whether it's um, just me overthinking or whether it's them coming and taking from me, them expecting me to do all the work in the relationship. Because it might be that, you know, um, you're coupled up and you're like, look, I'm getting tired of this. Ten of Wands here as well. Uh, I'm getting tired of this relationship where I'm the one doing all the work. I've been thinking about this and I've realized now that it's not meant to be this way. So, you might be, if you're in a couple here, saying, look, shape up. <laughs> you got to shape up, right? Um, but if you're single here, I feel like you're going to stop this overthinking. Um, we had the tower with the four of pentacles and five of pentacles here with the king of cups. So where I guess you was refusing to make movement or change or somebody was refusing to bring you in out the cold, um, communicate with you. I feel like you're going to be quite shocked here to find out um, they haven't let you go uh, during September here. It's, I don't know if it's you that has a hold over somebody else or somebody has a hold over you, but it seems like somebody could be, you know, the main focus of your thoughts with the Eight of Swords and the Tower and Four of Pentacles, it's going to show you that holding on to somebody, maybe who's not holding on to you, is quite damaging. Um, so you're going to say, okay, I'm going to let go and realise I'm out in the cold. I'm going to learn to love myself now. I'm going to learn, I've learned my lesson that I deserve better. Uh, I've been giving my all. I've made myself even broke or I've left myself out in the cold by giving everything to you. I've drained all my love to you and you are maybe even emotionally abusive if you're in a relationship with somebody here. Um, so there's a tower moment coming. Tower moments aren't to be feared. These are saying the changes you want are coming. Might not be in the way you like. It might be that, you know, you had this hope of somebody returning to you and you're realising they're not returning. And I need to let go of this. So I see you, you know, using the Ace of Pentacles here to the Four of Pentacles of something you couldn't let go of and then just throwing yourself out into the cold here and being okay. It's okay to love somebody um, and not be with them. It's learning how to love unconditionally. I don't have to be with somebody to love them. I can let them go. And if we're meant to be, you know, it'll happen. I can't just keep waiting. Or if I'm in this relationship and I keep putting in, I can't be the only one to keep putting in and keep saying it, right? Um, Eight of Wands, Justice and Three of Cups. So some of you will choose to move forward and reunite and keep trying. It even shows that Maybe you, if you're in a couple, you might try for a baby to maybe fix the issue. Um, I don't think babies fix issues, but maybe somebody's feeling like that. Um, that if we had more time together, 
and then they would see how much I love them and I could show them how much I love them but it's not really the case, is it? That doesn't often work out. But I see positive movement forward from you with a justice card. Um, you finally getting what you deserve. So if you've been waiting on somebody who wouldn't talk to you, they now come forward and talk. So you get your justice. This good news is on the way. You're going to have that opportunity to speak to them. Now, whether what they say makes you happy is another thing right but you've been praying for an opportunity to either speak to somebody or get this positive movement forward and now you're going to get it it's time for the scales to balance basically here some of you will be reconnecting some of you don't want to reconnect that's life right um but if you're if, let's look at this at work right if you're looking for a new career opportunity. It may come through you losing your job. And maybe you think like, well, I wanted a promotion. I didn't want to lose my job. But then you have the opportunity to build a new foundation because you've been thrown out in the cold. So now you have the opportunity to go after what it is you desire, a better job there with the three of pentacles. Because uh, it's positive movement forward that you will receive. And it's good news overall. It just may take a little while getting to that good news, right? I mean, if we pray for cake and get cake mixture, we've got to do the work ourselves and, you know, mix that cake batter, right? So this tower is undeniable, but it gives you the opportunity to branch out in new directions. Let's have a look at friends and family. So we have the Page of Pentacles, um, the Death Card, no new friends. <laughs> uh, six of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. So some of you, I definitely like no new friends, but we have the Three of Cups, but I was putting them on the Three of Cups accidentally. So it could be why the extra Three of Cups came out. Um, so page of pentacles. So if you've blocked a friendship or ended a friendship, um, maybe because it was one sided, you were doing everything for them. It seems here, even it could be family. Okay. So if you seem to be the one doing everything for your family, I wouldn't expect any changes there. Um, you've got to bring the balance yourself with the six of pentacles. Let's say it's you as um, a parent giving to multiple children, each child's going to think they never get enough, right? Um, they're all going to have different personalities and you deal with them differently and they feel like, well, she gets this from you, he gets that from you. And it's just it's that sort of situation going on that, okay, I, I'm trying to give to everybody, but what will happen then is you end up on empty. So you've got to stop trying to please everybody basically um, because you're not learning your lesson here. It's like you'll never learn if you keep just trying to give to everybody. You'll just end up with not enough to give everybody. Um, and maybe like it, these three of cups could be pregnancies for some. And it's like if you're complaining that your partner doesn't have enough time for you with a baby, do you think they're going to have more time for you? It's not going to work out, is it? So it wouldn't then solve these problems here. But in regards to friendships and things like that, I feel like if, you're, if you've got... <laughs> I don't feel like your friend would change the more you try to give to them. It's just the more they take. Right? It can be family as well. It's up to you guys. We all have free will, so use your own discernment. Good luck, guys.